right, what is going on? Welcome to the channel. All right, so we are here on George Washington Memorial Parkway, and what a disaster of a road right now. They're doing some construction, and they, they've got it down to one lane. I'm actually heading, um, I'm heading uh, towards 495, coming from Arlington, D.C. area. And I'm letting FSD do the driving in this little cut of a lane that they created here, which is very interesting. I'm sure this causes a lot of traffic in the mornings, whoever has to take this as their commute. Um, and FSD is hesitating a little bit in this construction, but it looks like it's still able to handle it. Um, this is definitely one of those riskier FSD drives um, because whenever there's construction or, or weather, I think that's when FSD is at its worst. Um, I definitely have my hands hovering over the wheel here because this is sketchy. Uh, if you're familiar with the area, there's the scenic overlook right here to my right, which it looks like they actually have that open, which is kind of cool for people who want to stop by. But for them to have knocked this down to one lane is just ridiculous. And um, But I'm really happy FSD can handle it. This is still not version 12 yet. I should be receiving version 12 here very sh soon, shortly. Uh, haven't got it yet, though. But I do want to take you all out to 495, our Capitol Beltway, to show you how FSD can handle getting from George Washington Memorial all the way to our Capitol Beltway. And yeah, as you can see every time you hear that little beep, that is FSD hesitating. Um, and you can hear that was the brakes that it applied out of nowhere. And yeah, just like you see the, the steering wheel turning by itself, the brakes and the accelerator do the same thing. Um, talk about phantom driving. But yeah, I mean, this is really sketchy the way they've got it set. Um, but I'm really happy. Oh, FSD is getting really close to one end there. It did fix itself, but you can hear, you know, there's definitely no shoulder area right now. So... You definitely want to take as much caution as possible um, because, again, FSD is not perfect. There you go. As you can see, it swerved a little bit. Um, it's definitely asking for a lot of input right now, too, as far as the steering wheel nag goes. And, uh, yeah, it's still doing it, though. I'm very impressed with that. But I can't imagine having to take this road. At one point, I used to have to commute down this road several years ago. And, um, of course, there was nothing like this. I actually really used to enjoy driving down this road because it was such a scenic drive. Alright, notice how we changed from the barriers to these little... I don't even know what you call these little um, cone, skinny cone looking things here. Um, and FSD still able to keep it in the middle. Um, this is like a really good true test. Here we go. Look at, look at the way it had to merge over to the right. Now we've got both sides of traffic, I think, running on, on this road. Or no, maybe not yet. I know at one point on GW Parkway, they will have both sides of traffic. And there's a lot of potholes on this road, too. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that's what they're fixing. But then again, I'm, I'm not sure if they're, like, trying to, like, expand this road or what they're doing. Because this is a little crazy, if you ask me. But, yeah, we are almost there to the Capitol Beltway. I want to thank everyone, of course, for watching this. If you're uh, familiar with this area, um and you drive down this road, take a look at the way that the computer software can do it. You know, if this is your commute, you know, you could definitely relax a little bit. 
maybe not as much on some of the roads because this has got me a little more cautious even though FSD is performing the drive and able to um, handle it but you can see it, it is very hesitant with all these barriers in the way so now this is the area where we've got both sides of traffic now on this road um, it looks like that side on the left they've got completely just caved in it looks like amazing what they're able to do but I'm um, really not happy with the timeline because for, for a local um, that drives down like Route 7 every day they've you know tore apart that road to a point where they've got the speed limit down now to like 45 they, they, they said it would take two years they started it back in like 2019 so it's definitely like still every morning construction and it, it's pretty uh pretty intense here we go with this the exit for the cia building is right here to the right which is kind of cool um they got their own road and their own exit yeah so we're gonna just go ahead and pass that on by and we are officially two miles away from the exit and as you can see fsd is still in control as long as I got that blue line and uh, I would like to know when this construction will be done because this is a pretty important road for our area and this tends to back up a lot of traffic and it really makes things worse so it'd be nice to know that they can kind of complete this soon and uh, just yeah in the DC area it's like as long as I can remember, some roads are being worked on. I mean, since I was a little kid, they've been working on the toll road, 267. And uh, now it's like finally complete, but still not, because now they need to add like the metro and whatnot. So it's pretty ridiculous with all the construction that we have going on in this area. It's like literally never ending. And I'm pretty sure they've got projects going on past 2030 if you ask me. <sighs> but yeah, um, FSD still in control doing its thing here. Really interested in seeing once I get like version 12, I will definitely do the same drive and compare the two to see uh, some of the differences. I know Elon Musk has been tweeting quite a bit, getting everyone all hyped up about version 12, saying that it's acting very human-like. So really interested to see on what, what that's going to be like officially when it comes out. Alright, so we are officially approaching the Capitol Beltway here. And I'm actually really ready to get off this road because, yeah, I just don't like this tightness, you know. It makes me feel like I'm driving in Europe. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. But, I, you know, I obviously prefer having the wide open roads to drive on. You know, it makes you feel a lot more free than uh, having to stay within these lines. But I'm very thankful for FSD being able to handle it. Um, you know, this was definitely a fun video to shoot. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more FSD beta videos, Tesla content. Drop a comment below, let me know what you think. If you want to see anything specific, I'd be really happy to shoot that, as long as it's kind of within my area. And yeah, all right, so here we go with the exit. This should be the finale. I'm gonna let it actually merge onto um, 495 and see how it does all that. So here we go, rumble strips ahead. Very tight turn here, 20 miles per hour. Overall, really nice job with FSD though. I have to say, it's like, it's kind of like a train ride. You just set your destination and sit down and then just kind of let it do the rest for you. Of course, that comes with an asterisk, you know, like I've been saying. But yeah, here we are, finally made it. We are gonna get on the bridge now. Let's see FSD do some merging for me. There we go with the indicator automatically. Nice job. This is the American Legion Bridge, which means 
We are exiting Virginia, officially headed into Maryland. And yeah, I want to thank everyone again for watching this. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hope you have a great rest of your day.